Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to what promises to be an awesome episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. But before we get the video going, I just want to run in here and just show you guys some things that are very important before we start this video. And this is my profile. As you can see, I have a ton of mods that I fool around with in this uh, game as you guys are aware by now. Uh, what I want to point out here is the maps that I have pieced together here. It's very important that they go together as you'll see in my mod profile here. Uh, the first thing you'll see is Pro Mods version 171. There's three of those. There's a DEF file that goes with that as well. You can download that from promods.net. The next one you'll see in the sequence is, where are we? Poland Rebuilding version 1.71a. There are three files for that. They need to go after the pro mod so if you need to add some z's to it you do that so they'll go in a little bit after and the next bunch on the maps you'll see with four or five z's in front of it is the russian map version 1.3.5 all those will be in the video description for you to download so if you guys have any questions about that just want to clarify that before the video starts so first of all you have pro mod then you have Poland rebuilding and then the Russian map. Make sure the Z's are in front or the Z's in the proper order in order for this to work properly. And you will end up with one epic map. So let's take a look here. Get this sign in. Love that loading screen. Pro mods, sexy Bordeaux. All right, so let's get behind the wheel of my awesome Peterbilt here. All right, so today we start this video over in Russia. Let's take a look at the map, shall we? And just look at this freaking map. It is absolutely bananas. This, I think, is the largest map you can piece together right now in ETS2. Basically, you have ProMod here. And of course you need to have the Going East DLC in order for this to work properly, guys. And that is this section of the map, but just look at what Poland Rebuilding does to Poland. I mean, there are places here that <laughs> I have never heard of. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce some of them, but I can't wait to visit most of them with you guys. And I find myself today over in, hopefully I say this right, Tavir in Russia. Crazy, this is part of the Russian 1.35 version map that I showed you guys at the beginning there and today I have something super special I want to share with you guys so let's go pick up my cargo shall we start up my amazing Peterbilt love this truck this is version 4.0 guys in case you're wondering all right let's get this show on the road let's go this way backing up like a pro using them mirrors so hope you guys have been doing amazing I've been doing absolutely fantastic all right oh shit and I stole my truck my bad too much power running the 840 horsepower engine the less than this truck so power is not an issue <laughs> I cannot wait to show you this cargo. I've been working like crazy trying to make this happen. All right, green light. Game loves me. Your truck loves me. All right, we have another green light. Can we make it? Probably gonna get a speeding ticket here. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Uh, I get so many speeding tickets in this game, it's crazy. Alright, if this is the first time you guys have seen one of my videos, welcome. Hope you guys will enjoy. This is my favorite truck again, it's the Peterbilt version 4.0. The link for the mod will be in the description, along with a ton of others I want to share with you guys in this particular video. Using the track IR system, guys, if you're wondering how I'm looking around the cab, you guys ask that quite a bit amazing system. I think it's 
made by Natural Point is the developer of the headset. Or it's a headset clip actually, and it just use the little camera to track your head in the way. But just look at this trailer. <laughs> Yo! Alright, let's pick this up. Now, this trip <laughs> takes us from Russia all the way over to Norway. I mean, just look at the trips you can do with this. You can leave Moscow and you can travel all the way over to Great Britain. I mean, it would take you days. In order for me to get to Russia in the first place, I left Germany and I traveled across. And I will tell you, it felt like a trip. I had to take three or four naps. I mean, it was just absolutely epic. So today, we are going to begin a journey all the way over to Norway. And our cargo is a trailer a trailer that I have made myself, or a skin I've made myself to match the skin of a new Peterbilt. Peterbilt sorry. And you'll see that here now in a second. When I was making the trailer, for some reason, the coating of it said that we're delivering jamming. So <laughs> you take that for what it's worth. I have to fix that part of it. But just check it out. I can't wait to <laughs> show you guys this in the daytime. It is absolutely fantastic. And currently it's not working with Jazzy Cat trailer, so I need to try to work that. I don't know if I added some more Z's to it. I'm like, whoa, 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 slow down there. Alright. It's 24 tons. 24 tons of jamming. It's quite large. This truck does know it's there. I made a little run just to make sure everything was working properly before I started the video with the trailer. I am in seventh gear. My bad. I think we're doing okay on the snooze meter and fuel. And it's 2.50 a.m. So hopefully it lightens up here real quick so you guys can see some of this map. This map is absolutely outstanding. With uh, SCS coming in with their own Scandinavian map pack. I guess this is the, the new expansion, you'll say, for a lot of the modders out there. Comes some maps. So much going on with the. Uh, oh, I never got a ticket. Sweet. Look at my trailer, peeps. <laughs> Wake people up in Russia. Wake up, people. But I was down in Moscow, I will say, that is one huge, huge city. Probably the largest I've been in in the Euro truck. I, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Oops. It's two tickets already. I don't know how much it looks. <laughs> this is so awesome. That's an iceberg. We'll talk about it. Look, I mean, this just looks fantastic. So I am actually going to upload these files there will be a link in the description there's two one for the truck and one for the trailer skin and if you guys would like to download it I would love to see some pictures of it if you guys want to uh, share it with me over on Facebook would be awesome there's a link for Facebook uh, my Facebook page in the description a lot of you guys who follow me on Facebook already know that uh, I've been working on this because <laughs> I've posted quite a few pictures of it so all right I want the lights let's get the show on the road oh and a couple things uh, when it comes to the skins I have to thank uh, reddit for the information I needed to be able to make a skin for your truck there's a couple of free programs you need uh, one is called paint.net the other one is called ETS Studio. Both are free. It's just a matter of how you piece. You basically have to use paint.net to make your skin. And then you have to use ETS Studio to put the skin or to create the mod file. And then you just load it in like you did. You do any other skin with your old truck and away you go. But I do need to make it work. Uh, stop, 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 baby. Make it work with Jazzy Cat because uh, I like running that pack to be very honest with you. Well, I'm going to stop right here. Stop talking to him. Get the show on the road. Ah, 
I also want to thank you guys for 15,000 subscribers on my channel. I can't believe the support you guys give me. It's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love posting these videos for you guys, and it's uh, it's really cool that you guys enjoy watching them. So, uh, thumbs up for that, guys. You guys are great. See that little red glitch there? <laughs> it seems like the... Uh, the sunshade on the scanning a truck for whatever reason there's a mod conflict there I can't figure out which one it is if you guys know what's causing that do tell it's only the scania uh, like the uh, sun visor thing that caused a little red glitchy thing going around there oh my god dry your light Jimmy woo so I haven't explored a lot of Russia I've been down this particular area but where we're heading, uh, I've like I say, you can see I've been over here. But as we get past this little town right here, I have not been down through here. So I'm kind of excited to see what everything looks like. And hopefully, we get daylight here. But there's nothing wrong with a little bit of nighttime driving. Truckers love to drive nighttime. Sorry, bro. Yeah, back to the uh, making the skin yourself it's kind of a cool experience because you can put your own little company on it i mean my company as you guys know is Tran jam and transportation inc but you can put whatever you want I suppose it's a sports team you like or it's just putting images on and make sure you use your layers whoa 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 properly guys it's very very important i'm gonna need my jake break here yeah the layers are crucial i uh, i had a a few issues with that starting in, i got to be honest with you. Because it wasn't layering properly. With any image you're creating, whether it's a Photoshop or a paint image, layers are your friend. And uh, learning how to use them properly is, is the key to making the, making the skin. Well, this guy is clearly broke down in this hole. Traffic on the side of the road. What are these people doing? Look! <laughs> I don't think I want to be parked on the side of the road in the middle of Russia in the middle of the night. Just saying. Doesn't seem like that safe of a place to be <laughs> with all current events and all. But who knows? The little towns here. Lights on. Very, very nice map pack. I like it. I like it a lot. Sir, sir, what are you doing? Are you sleeping? Wake up! It's morning time, brother. And one of the gentlemen over on Reddit, I have to give him a shout out. His name was Henry Hay. If you go over there and you just look up on Reddit how to, in the Truck Sim subreddit, how to make your own trailer skins, all the information is there. Like, check out these roads. <laughs> it's amazing. Damn, love this game. Okay, this, whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> What are you doing? Alright, let's jump inside here. Guys, what do you think of that? It's a Canadian flag, you guys know. Like, check this out. You guys know I'm from Canada. The flag in the front is the province in which I live. Canada is divided into 12 provinces. This is beyond cool. Screenshot? Me think so. <laughs> Gorgeous. So you can see how this is, uh, these roads are part of uh, the little ad that they do here. Kind of a rough road, train area. Getting my truck dirty. The icebergs, the reason I decided to put an iceberg on the back of my truck is because I essentially live in an iceberg alley. We have a ton of icebergs here during May and June. It's kind of a, a big thing here. It's a big tourism thing. People come here and check out the uh, icebergs all the time. So that'd be a nice little touch. This road is cool. <laughs> well, I don't think I am in the right gear for the seal. We can do it. We can do it. That Peterbilt has the power. I need to jump in my cab or bad things are going to happen. So 
So yeah, big shout out to Henry Hay for just uh, putting that post up and uh, sending me a few files I needed to uh, get me through that originally. It was uh, very nice of you, sir. And another shout out goes to a friend over on Facebook who just had a new baby boy. His name is Mike Holloway. New baby boy, 6.8 pounds. Congratulations to you, sir. Your life is about to be extremely different. I'm not sure if it's your first one or your second one or your third or your fourth, but I have two little ones myself, and uh, they are a bundle of joy and keep you very busy. So congratulations to you, sir. And Dominic uh, mentioned in my last video, he said, can you please give me a shout-out in the next video? So hey, Dominic, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for watching my videos. It's awesome. And this trailer scheme is epic. <laughs> I may, as I get a little bit more versed on how to make these skins, I might do a tutorial, a tutorial video, a how-to, if you will. So it's that little light glitch. I have to figure that out. Just scanning a truck again every time. We are in 12th gear, and I still have my pet fly. It likes to hang out. Me and him have been all over Europe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, slow down. Must deliver this cargo safely. But this map, I will say, is very, very well done. But check out the trees and the scenery. And the difference in the roads, nice little touch, too. I like it. Just map. And this map, this uh, sorry, this trailer skin will spawn in the game as well. So if you put it in the game, you will see other trucks driving it, which is kind of cool. So if you make your own, you'll see other trucks pulling your cargo, which is uh, a very cool touch in my opinion. Hello, people! Oh, this guy got pulled over. <laughs> Uh, I think we just woke these people up in this town. What time of the day is it? It's 5.39. Woo! Little tractor there. I thought for sure when I was driving through a little town a little while back that I seen a chicken on the road. <laughs> you know what they say? Why did the chicken cross the road? Wah wah! That's a pretty dry, dry joke. <laughs> a golden oldie. And we're going to run through some traffic here. Some early morning commuters, I guess. If you wonder about the different cars too, guys, that's part of uh, Jazzy Cat's AI traffic mod that I have installed. So where are we need right now? I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Looks like we got a truck stop here. I like how with these map packs they have like different they have people on the roads and stuff. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And I apologize, guys, if the frames take. A bit of a drop. Look at this guy taking a picture. What's up, bro? Oh! I need to pay attention. Let's jump inside again. Check out the traffic room. We got some Russian females coming our way. How you doing? Hello? Like my truck? Luis! They're looking at these flags and saying, where is that guy from? 
Yeah, I was pretty proud when I was able to get this put together. I did the truck first, actually. And then I figured out, you know what? There needs to be a trailer going with this in. High five, delivery guaranteed. I've right, got a carbon fiber look on there as well. Very, very cool. Please do tell what you think in the uh, comments, guys. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. And I'm going to try and make my skin for every truck that's in the game. The Scania, the Man, the DAF, Iveco, all that stuff. There are a lot of females in Russia. Apparently a lot of lights. One thing I have noticed though that the uh, these skins will drop your frames per second <laughs> in the gutter. Uh, been looking at a graphics card update. I'm running a 570 right now. I'm seriously thinking Nvidia just announced their new 980. Very, very tempting. Very, very expensive, but <laughs> very tempting. And that should uh, eat up anything that you're able to throw at it over the next few years, I would hope. We have an avalanche. This place is a boom. Come on, people. I have a delivery to make. 50 hours. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, another red light. Really? It's going to take us an hour to get through this small town. But well, we do have some scenery. What's up? People get on the go early in this town. So yeah, SCS is uh, putting lots of information up on their blog regarding upcoming updates for Euro Truck. Still not a lot of information about American Truck Simulator. I think it's going to be a long wait for that game, folks. So enjoy Euro Truck while we can. This is why I keep trying to make new things for the game, new maps, new skins, new trailers. Keeps the game interesting, in my opinion. Love driving these American trucks, as you guys know. Absolutely ecstatic for the release of American Truck Simulator. It is going to be crazy good, I think. It's good to see they're taking their time, but I wish they would hurry up if that makes any sense. I am ready. For that game. Look at this guy, man. This guy is flying. Dude. What? A jake break for the win. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not scratch my new trailer. Hopefully we'll get some good scenery here and take a few snaps along the way as we always do. And I mentioned Facebook earlier guys, if uh, you guys are into that, head over there and like my page. I uh, tend to share a lot of information about what's going on with my uh, upcoming videos and stuff on there. It's a little bit easier to post information to you guys there, a little bit more interactive, give away a few games, from some DLCs from time to time. So if Facebook's your thing, head on over there. Check it out. What? Moscow? We're not going to Moscow. Oh no, we're going to turn here again. Okay, it looks like we're going down through a very narrow country road here to Vasama. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's right. We'll go with it. Alright, yeah, we're going we're gonna to merge off here right now. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. See those frames just dive with these maps. I 
I do have a rain mod installed too, guys. I mentioned that in my last video, but you know what? I don't think it's rained in the last three runs I've done, which is really odd. This is version 2.0, and again, that link is in the description if you want to try it. We don't need no fuel. We have a half a tank. We are good to go. I would love to see some wildlife. <laughs> it might sound wrong, but I would love to hit one. <laughs> Just to see what happens. Sunrise there. Over the water, look at that. Beauty. Beauty. What do we got here? Hello, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. I still question the AI in this game. <laughs> I think that was chicken. That was that. That was a chicken. Let's get out here. Have a look. Do you guys see that? I swear, I just seen a chicken on the road. Am I wrong in that? Did I did I run it over? Nope. It's right there. <laughs> so apparently. Oh, this is as close as I can get. Apparently, you can't run over the chickens. <laughs> Let's take a picture of my truck in Russia, shall we? Let's do that. Because that is ever so pretty. So excited to bring you guys this. Been wanting to do this for ever and I do have the equipment if any wildlife decides to hit my truck you will not scratch it there you go I'm not sure if you guys know this yet or not but with the new uh, version 1.21 1 of this game of course you can take those black and white pictures too which is kind of a nice touch Everybody likes picture and take it. Ooh, wow. Right here, Jamie. So everybody likes taking pictures in Euro Truck. We have a cow. Mr. Moo Cow, what's up, bro? Well, there's cows here everywhere. Cattle. Whoa. That is great A beef right there. Beef. on the highway here we'll flick on our tune that we've been listening to Pay attention, Jimmy. driving on unknown roads you should pay, oh. pay attention with 24 ton and tow yes yeah, so you can change the weight one thing about ETS studio you can change the weight of your trailer, what your cargo is, and for some reason, I don't know why I code it that way, but I'll fix that. Because I make a few little tweaks, there's a few little changes I want to make. But the icebergs are staying, and the flags, <laughs> and the names, so there's not many changes, just there's one little spot, there's some color out there, nothing too serious, you can't even pick up. Oh, wow! So that's what I'm saying with this AI sometimes. Hello, sir. Whoa, whoa. It's okay, man. We got it. Well, another little town, and for sure, we're gonna have a bite. Got some 
truck stops here by the look of it. And the reason you're seeing a few trains on the back of trucks here, guys, it's the, that's Jazzy Cat's, uh, I think it's the Railway Cargo Pack. And again, there will be a link for that if you like to haul some trains. Some of those can hit up to 70 tons, so that's pretty cool. I think we're past the morning rush hour traffic. Still 48 hours to go on our trip. <laughs> not sure if I'll do two episodes of this or not. Just wanted to get a video up there for you guys to see the huge map and the skin that I was able to make. Like I say, would love for you guys to download it and share your thoughts with me on it. There. Holy, holy cow! There's a pun. Oh, Jamie, slow down. That's a lot of cows. Hello, Mr. Cow. If you guys are wondering where this box came from, this is a box designed by Derek Spear Designs. Link in the description, too, guys. You can check it out. He makes some epic gear. Whoa. Speed what? The guy in front better have got a speeding ticket. I'm gonna pass this one. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure what that is up there on the road. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, that was too close for comfort. Yeah, speaking about SCS uh, updates they've been putting on their blog, they were talking about a new uh, man truck. They've been talking about some new trailers they're adding to the game. Uh, they've been talking about the Scandinavian DLC. Kind of uh, wondering when some of that has been coming out. I know Paul, the Squirrel's Nuts, uh, who is very well informed with uh, your truck simulator, has mentioned. It's a cool building. Has mentioned. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. There are supposed to be some updates for September, but there's not a lot of time left until September, so we'll see what happens. And some of that will be paid DLC as well, so it'll be interesting to see when they come up with some of this good stuff they've been mentioning. Oh, I need to turn. Oh, I need to slow down. Wow, wow. Too low of a gear there, really. Alright, I guess this is the country road. Let's see where we are right now. Oh, we're almost at our little town here. So probably what I will do... Uh, we'll see how it goes. You guys like these longer videos, so it's all good. And I can drive in this game for days. You guys are pretty well aware of that by now. I've been getting in the habit lately of every town I visit, I actually, oh, Cadillac Escalade, what is up, bro? Kenworth, woo, woo! That's the K100. I've been meaning to drive that truck for you guys. You know what I was saying? I've been getting in the habit of every town I visit, I've been buying garages because it just makes it easier for getting around the map a lot quicker. Now, it does help to have money in the bank to be able to do that, of course, but if you can do it, it's a good little tip for just for jumping around. Okay, do I have to turn here? I don't have to I thought I did. My bad. Come on, bro. Go, go, go. This looks absolutely great. Love Euro Truck. Absolutely love it.
buildings look like buildings that would be in Russia. All right, new town discovered. Right who? I am not even going to attempt those signs. Not even going to do it. Oh, whoa, we have to turn it in, people. Take a break for the win. I'm not even sure what's happening. Do you guys see what's happening with this turn on my nav system? Wow. I don't even know what that is. So we need to... What? Go around here. That's a glitch, people. What? I should have stayed on the highway. That is weird. <laughs> it told me... Why would it do that? It told me to come down here as if I can loop back up around again. So we are have to go to take a little loop through this town. Ah, oh, come on. Avalanche. Yeah, the distances you can drive with this map installed is crazy. I only hope that one day you can get TSM working with all this. I mean, that would be just be total craziness. The question is now, where in goodness are we going to turn around? Hmm. Oops, I'm here, I'm bad. I could probably... Oops. If I take this roundabout and go full circle, yeah, I think that will work. I was trying to turn. So good my driving skills are now, sir. What do you think? In Russia. I've heard down in Poland rebuilding, actually, you can visit McDonald's and stuff as well, so kind of interested in checking that out. We want focus, focus, yes. I use that round a bit the proper way, but you know what? It worked. I would love for it to rain.
Now let's see if we can take this turn right this time. Well, that's not going to work. That's going to send us back the other way. Okay, yeah, if we go up around, okay. On gear, oh boy. Dude, really? You get an escalate, that doesn't mean you get the right away. I don't think Eurotruck has ever done that to me before. Wrong directions. Oh, diggity. resting station because I am soon be needing a snooze here. See how long we've been going. 42 minutes. Alright guys, well I'm going to pull into this resting station. I might do this in two episodes. But I hope you guys enjoyed the review of my new skin pack. Be uploading that to via Media Fire so you guys can download that and check it out and please do remember to share it with me I'd love to see it and if you want to add all these maps to the game guys just do what I had done in my mod folder there and you'll be all set to go just make sure you activate them in game and you are all set and there's links for every single one of them as well guys so click on the old handbrake here but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Until next time, guys, peace and keep on trucking.